Good, what is it, Friday? No, hard to believe, it is Friday. Good morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. If you're looking for me down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, we are live on Periscope, Twitter, YouTube, and Google Plus this morning. So thanks to everybody for tuning in and joining me, taking a quick look around not only the Mid-South, but around the rest of the planet to see what's going on out there. Volcano Cam from the United States Geological Survey around the Kilauea Volcano, looking down into the crater and seeing the cracks in the lava this morning so something you don't often have a chance to see more of these cameras about the volcano the observatory go to usgs.gov and you can find out a whole bunch more there plenty of sunshine on the national park systems webcam in the dc area looking back toward the potomac river around the area of the national mall and into around the area close to the capitol building on the washington monument beautiful sunrise this morning if you want to see more about that check out my twitter feed for those of you who are tuning in for the first time this is our exclusive video weather blog don't really have a chance to see something like this on other TV stations you got your forecast right down here for today and tonight and current conditions for right now in the mid-south area we've got 54 degrees south winds at about 12 in the news channel 3 backyard 68 for a high temperature today with some very breezy southwest winds and temperatures tonight back in the mid upper 50s more of our forecast available if you'd like to find out more check out all the details at wreg.com slash weather you can also get all of our webcams from the Weatherbug system at wreg.com slash webcams. This particular cloud-filled version is from Bethel Springs Elementary in Bethel Springs, Tennessee, so very quiet. It's a little bit of showers drifting on through, but otherwise mostly gray skies for early this morning. And probably going to be seeing more possibilities of clouds and showers and thunderstorms as well throughout the rest of the morning. No earthquakes to report in the Mid-South in the last 24 hours. We did have one just up around the area of Southeast Missouri, and that was over 24 hours ago, so beyond that not really that much going on have to thank the center for earthquake research and information from the university of memphis and also again the united states geological survey at earthquakes.usgs.gov for more information there rest of the day plenty of clouds across the mid-south and could be some showers out there off and on possibility of some thunderstorms here and there but we're just not looking again at a lot of major activity so through the course of the rest of the morning we will see again the possibility from 9 o'clock through 11 o'clock of maybe some scattered showers mixed in with some thunderstorms. We're also going to see the possibility of again some fairly breezy winds out there south to southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Could even be some wind gusts a little bit higher than that around maybe 20 miles per hour plus at times but does not look like a wind advisory at this point so good news on that. Those chances of showers and thunderstorms will linger but kind of drop off a little bit as we get a little bit closer to around the lunchtime hour and again much of what we're going to be seeing at this time is going to be that possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms mixed in with a lot of cloudy skies but for the afternoon hours the chances will be diminishing by just a little bit but the possibility of more thunderstorms will be coming our way as we go into the rest of the evening we'll show you that coming up here in just well as a matter of fact we'll take a look at it right now thought I had another graphic before this. This is what we're going to be seeing again on the maps for the Mid-South area. What we are seeing right now is again cloudy skies with some showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Mid-South. Let me zoom out here so everybody can see a little bit more about what's going on for everybody from Dyersburg down to Oxford, Jackson, Tennessee, back toward Forest City. Those are the areas we watch on the forecast graphic. That includes the News Channel 3 viewing area for the most part. Again, what we're looking for is numbers again back in the lower to mid 50s, maybe a few mid to upper 50s as we look into around southeastern Arkansas, northwestern Mississippi. Lunchtime today, it looks like most of the area of problematic storms will be heading our way out of the Mid-South over toward parts of Middle Tennessee. That is again going to be something if you're traveling toward Nashville, Cookville, Knoxville, as more showers develop and head in that general direction. Now through the rest of the afternoon, occasional showers will continue to pop up from the metro across parts of the Mid-South. That means the kids, for those of you who have uh, kids Kids at home and are going to be going to school there might be a mad dash from the car rider line to the waiting cars so maybe you want to send them with some rain protection just to be on the safe side there six o'clock tonight seven o'clock tonight right after news channel three at six heading out to any ncaa watch parties taking that stroll around the block getting some shopping done uh, heading out for st patrick's day festivities things like that take the umbrella with you you are going to need that because we'll see more chances of showers and maybe some embedded thunderstorms in there developing as we go into the evening hours but watch this as we go into around 10 o'clock tonight we start to see a little bit more 
in the way of a line of thunderstorms developing from Middle Tennessee back into Central Arkansas, and that whole line will be developing and moving down toward the south and to the east at the exact same time. So around News Channel 3 at 10, you definitely want to stay tuned for News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers with a complete forecast update because these things, again, once they develop, will be drifting on through the metro area right about midnight. They're not going to be in any hurry to go anyplace, so we could wind up with some minor areas of flash flooding possible, but no severe weather otherwise expected out of this, so some definite good news on that. Now getting into around very early tomorrow morning, that whole line drops its way down toward the south and to the east, but we will still have the possibility of, again, some lingering areas of showers and thunderstorms from parts of northern Alabama, middle Tennessee, north Mississippi, and even back into around southeastern Arkansas. So if you have any plans for outdoors traveling tonight, that can be a bit of a problem, and some of those could could linger into very early tomorrow morning. Again, we're going to be showing the possibility of a few leftover showers around northeast Mississippi, northwest Alabama as we go into very early, right around the time we're on with, again, News Channel 3 and Daybreak with myself and co-anchor Nina Harrelson. So stay tuned for the complete forecast there. Seven-day forecast starting off with, again, St. Patrick's Day today. Showers developing as well as thunderstorms right on into this evening. And those will be possibly left over as we get to around uh, early tomorrow morning. Could even be a few scattered showers for northeast Mississippi by the time we hit about mid-morning Saturday. Now through Sunday, we see again mid to upper 60s for high temperatures. Sunday is the last full day of winter. So we do see again some very nice unwinter-like conditions out there. That uh, the temperatures out there are actually going to be just a little bit above normal for both Saturday and Sunday. First day of spring begins on Monday, starts at 5.30 in the morning, actually, and we should be seeing mostly clear to partly cloudy skies as we get into the rest of the day on, again, through uh, Monday or so, but not seeing any major problems at all throughout the area. Now, by Tuesday and into Wednesday, could be the possibility of some more stronger thunderstorms heading our way. Doesn't look like a threat of severe weather right now, but once again, between about January and April, you've got to watch very carefully for the development of those thunderstorms out there. And that's exactly what we'll be doing here on News Channel 3. Isolated showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the next several days all the way into around next weekend. Not a huge amount, but still the possibility of seeing some precipitation out there. So if you have any plans for outdoors, keep that in mind. And whatever you do, keep it tuned here and we'll keep you updated on what's going on in the Mid-South area. Don't forget to check out my forecast. It's available right now on the Memphis AM radio show and at 8 o'clock and following on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh. That'll be coming up through 9 o'clock this morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. And also don't forget to tune in to the latest forecast coming up early tomorrow morning and throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. And whatever you do, don't forget to download our weather app. If you've got whatever platform, go to your app store and search WREG Weather and download our weather app so that you can keep in touch with what's going on throughout the Mid-South where it comes to precipitation and rain and the complete forecast out across much of the area so we can keep you updated here from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend with your complete forecast, so stay tuned for more there. If you'd like to send me weather pictures, please do so. We would love to feature them on News Channel 3 Daybreak on the weekends or whenever we can. And again, if you'd like to send anything to me, I have the email address available. You also have, again, the Twitter out, outsourcing at uh, Aonic underscore WREG3. Instagram available at Aonic no underscore WREG3. And of course, watching on Facebook at Austinonic WREG, just right on the end of Facebook.com if you'd like to see more information there. I'll have more details again throughout the rest of the weekend. We have the NCAA tournament going on, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 3.2. That's our anytime channel on the digital side of things. And stay tuned for more coming up again with me on all those social media networks that you see up there above my head. Thanks for joining me for the Friday morning edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.